Hello everyone, Charmin Cena here. Today I'm showing you how to create a simple LDAP server and connect it to your SoFo CTM for uh, client-side authentication for the client portal and other things. So I get asked a lot like, okay, so I have a small office and I'm using SoFo's and I, you know, want to essentially manage those uh, user accounts. I want to tie it in with my LDAP server, Active Directory, or guess what? I have like 15 users and um, I need them to go and download, you know, <clears throat> uh, the VPN configuration or the s certificate or, you know, uh, check and see if some of their email has been collected by spam. And I not I don't want to create local accounts, right? Because we want to stay away from local accounts as much as possible. So one way you can do that is with LDAP. So I'm just going to create a simple LDAP server here. So let me just log into my virtual machine that I have here. Just change this host name. So we're going to use open LDAP with the PHP LDAP admin web interface. Okay. So I will include these instructions, of course, in the uh, description. So we're going to go ahead and install, download and install those packages. And of course, you can do the same, this exact same thing if you have an existing Active Directory setup. But if you're in a Linux environment uh, or you don't have Active Directory, uh, Open LDAP is there for you as well. Okay, so we've downloaded and installed the packages. Now we'll use reconfigure slap D, which will uh, bring us to this little wizard. So we will not omit open LDAP. Config. My domain name I'll put is mancini.com. Organizational name, Sean Mancini. Put in a password. Use the MDB backend which I typically use because uh, MDB is really is much faster when it comes to searching I believe is a couple times faster than uh, his predecessor so we're gonna say uh, no we don't want the database to but we will move the old database and uh, we're gonna use LDAP v3 and not LDAP v2 Okay, so now that this is done, we just need to, need to make a slight change on the uh, config.php file. Just going to make a backup of this. Okay, so we got to edit this line which I will search for. Actually, you don't have to do this, but it will save you a lot of pain. Uh, so what we're going to do is just remove what's in between here. And that's because that will set, by default, the base DN had the example.com. So I suppose if you only had one directory name or domain name, then you could put here uh, that domain name. That'll be fine, or you can just remove it and you actually don't have to restart Apache for that. Okay, so I'm going to browse to the page. Okay, click login. My DC, of course, will be Mancini. And because I put .com, uh, the second DC will be com and uh, 
the common name for admin because that's the account I'm using to log into this page with. Okay, so here I am logged in. So I'm going to first make uh, a generic account. Uh, sorry, before I make an account, I'm just going to make a group. So let's name this Sophos. So I have a group called Sophos. Now in the group Sophos, I'll click create a child entry, generic user account. I'll make an account Sophos user. I'll add it to the Sophos group. Give it a basic login shell, a password, user ID, and click create object. And commit. So under the Sophos uh, group, I have a user called Sophos user. Top right hand corner here, click show internal attributes. And you'll see the uh, DN. So let's copy this. Move over to your Sophos, ad Sophos admin panel. Top left hand corner, search for auth, down to authentication services, move over to servers, click new authentication server. Now the back end is LDAP, server, I already have one defined, which is Mancini LDAP, but you can name whatever you want or uh, top, on the right hand side here, click on the plus and then just fill it out. So I'm using port 389. I haven't set up SSL or anything yet. So Now, notice how I just pasted in the uh, DN info that I got from that group. Okay, so for test here, what I'm going to do is common name, admin, okay. uh, sorry, not admin, because I need a user. Okay, so I use the admin account and Mancini uh, com for the bind DN. Okay, so now for the base DN, I will use the Sophos uh, information. Let's test it with a user that's in that group. taking its time so figure out what's going on here <clears throat> I 
I'm expecting to see either a a pass or a fail here. So I'm just waiting. Let's go ahead and refresh the page here. Just reset this up again. Okay, so that passed. Okay, so I'm getting a denied. So this is what I was expect. I'm not expecting, but I was expecting this window. So let's see what's going on here. Oh, what? Oop, didn't want to do that. Oh, I see here. So we're searching by CN and it's made the CN and I put a space there. So let's remove that space, update. Ah, authentication test passed. Okay, so let's save that. Now, let's go to the client portal. Log out from the user I was in before. I'm going to use Sophos user and log in. Okay, so you see I'm now logged in as Sophos user. Okay, now, obviously I want, I want control, right? So by me adding the base DN with Sophos, we're looking for a CN in there, uh, in that group called Sophos. So for instance, if I create another one, And a group called Not Allowed. Okay, I'm going to make a group. I'm going to make another user. I'll make it, I don't know, Sophos 2. Oops, I made a OU and not a group. Hold on here. My bad. Make a group called not allowed. Generic user account.
Okay, so sorry, let me give me a moment here. Let me recreate that user. Something something ain't right with that user. Show post two. Sorry about that. Okay, so now I have in the group not allowed Sophos2, which is also a user. So now if I'm at the user portal and I go to Sophos2, okay, I will not be allowed in. Okay, so that means that we're only looking for users in that specific group. So what you would create is a group called Sophos or UTM users or client portal users, or something like that, and then put the put the users in. And then for Sophos users, with uh, you know, in, in this case, you can just add whichever group uh, membership you want. So, for instance, if you did want Sophos two to allow to be allowed, I just put them in the Sophos group, and away you go. So this is very uh, easy way once you get it all set up. I mean, LDAP is not and by no means a very simple <coughs> uh, thing off the bat. There's a lot of things you need to, to set up. Like this is just a very basic setup. And as you can see, I ran into a couple of snags myself. But um, uh, once you get it set up, it is very good because it helps you centrally manage all of your user accounts. You can get very granular with this uh, and, uh, and lots more. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. You can also visit me at seanmancini.com or send me an email with any of your questions at sean at seanmancini.com. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.